नेक्स्ट सेवेंटीन प्रॉब्लम एवेल्युएट इंटेग्रल ऑफ कोसी कैंट स्क्वायर एक्स बाई ए प्लस बी कॉट एक्स ओल टू द पावर ऑफ फाइव डी एक्स ओके नाउ सॉल्यूशन i is equal to integral a plus b cot x all to the power of minus phi into cosecant square x dx. What is the derivative of a plus b cot x? That is minus b cosecant square x. So, multiply with minus b divided by minus b. So, this we can write minus 1 by b integral of a plus b cot x all to the power of minus phi into minus b cosecant square x dx. So, let us suppose put a plus b cot x is equal to t. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. So, this is 0 this is minus b cosecant square x is equal to dt by dx. So, dt is equal to minus b cosecant square x dx. So, this is dt, this is t. So, minus 1 by b integral t power minus phi dt. This is minus 1 by b t power minus phi plus 1 by minus phi plus 1. So, this we can write minus 1 by b times t power minus 4 by minus 4. So, minus minus cancel 1 by 4 b into 1 by t power 4 what is t? t is nothing but a plus b cot x. So, we can write 1 by 4 b times a plus b cot x raised to 4 plus constant of integration. Now, let us move to the next problem. Now, 8 into 1. Evaluate integral of e power x sin of e power x dx. Now, regarding to this problem, say e power x is equal to t, i is equal to integral of sin of e power x into e power x dx. Now, put e power x is equal to t. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. So, derivative of e power x is e power x. This is dt by dx. Now, dt becomes e power x dx. Now, this is dt, this is t. So, integral sin t dt. So, that is minus cos t you will get it. What is t? e power x. So, minus cos of e power x plus constant of integration. Evaluate integral of sin of log x by x dx. So, first let us rearrange the problem. The sin of log x by x can be written as sin of log x into 1 by x dx. 1 by x is the derivative of log x. So, put log x is equal to t. So, now i is equal to integral sin of log x into 1 by x dx. 
put log x is equal to t differentiate both sides with respect to x. Now, 1 by x is equal to d t by d x d t equals to that means, here d x is equal to or d t is equal to d t is equal to 1 by x times d x this is d t this will be t. So, this is equal to integral of sin t d t this standard result. So, minus cos t whereas, t is equal to log x. So, minus cos of log x plus c. Now, let us move to the next problem. 20th one evaluate integral of 1 by x log x dx. This is very interesting problem. So, log x derivative is 1 by x. So, this we can arrange 1 by x by log x. So, f dash x by f of x. So, log of log x will be the answer or if you put log x is equal to t also we can solve this problem solution i is equal to integral this can be written 1 by x by log x dx. This is in the form of integral f dash x by f of x dx log mod f of x plus c. So, this is equal to log of mod log x plus constant of integration. 21st problem, 21st. Evaluate integral of 1 plus log x all to the power of n by x dx. So, in this problem the derivative of 1 plus log x is also 1 by x. So, first let us rearrange integral 1 plus log x all to the power of n into 1 by x dx. Now, put 1 plus log x equals to t. So, differentiating on both sides with respect to x. So, we get 1 by x equal to d t by d x. So, d t equals to 1 by x d x. This is d t, this will be t. So, we get this is equal to integral t power n d t. This is power rule. So, we get t power n plus 1 by n plus 1. t is nothing but 1 plus log x. So, 1 plus log x whole to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus constant of integration. 22nd. Evaluate integral of cos of log x by x dx. Okay. Now, this problem particularly cos of log x into 1 by x dx write down say log x is equal to t this becomes integral cos t dt integral of cos t dt is sin t. So, that means sin of log x will be the answer. So, suppose i is equal to integral cos of log x into 1 by x dx. Put log x is equal to t differentiate both sides with respect to x. 
1 by x is equal to dt by dx. Now, dt equals to 1 by x dx. Now, this is dt, this will be t. So, this is integral of cos t dt that is nothing but sin t. So, this equals to t is nothing but log x sin of log x plus constant of integration. 23rd integral cos root x by root x dx. What will be the derivative of root x? What will be the derivative of root x? See, d by dx of root x equals to 1 by 2 root x. So, you remember that formula. Now, let us rearrange this problem. i is equal to integral of cos root x into 1 by root x dx. Multiply by 2, divide by 2, write down. 2 times integral of cos root x into 1 by 2 root x dx. This 1 by 2 root x will be the derivative of root x. So, now put root x is equal to t. If you differentiate on both sides, 1 by 2 root x is equal to dt by dx. Now, dt becomes 1 by 2 root x into dx. Now, this will be dt, this is t. Now, this equal to 2 times integral of cos t dt. What is integral of cos t? Integral of cos t is sin t. So, 2 times 2 sin t where t is nothing but root x. So, 2 sin of root x plus constant of integration. 